Hi everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Fintech Snacks, a series where we take a look at common fintech startup use cases and how to architect for them. My name is Grishman Alperetti and I'm a solutions architect on the fintech startups team at AWS. Today we're going to be exploring the use case for a loans application. Let's take a look at our customer use case. Company X is a fintech startup that provides loans to help fulfill small businesses' financial needs. During COVID-19, the United States rolled out a Paycheck Protection Program that offers loans to small businesses so they can keep their workforce, and Company X is one of the lenders in this initiative. As a volume of loan applications increases, they need a scalable solution that will be able to handle their 10x demand. They'd like to build an automated solution that can be stood up quickly so they're able to start onboarding customers and accelerate loan approval times. We'll take a look at this in two parts. In this video, we'll discuss how to analyze the text in the loan documents. In a deeper technical demo, Solutions Architect Arnav Kare will show you how to process the loan documents using Amazon SageMaker for machine learning, so be sure to check that out after. The need for document processing is seen across all industries, especially in finance, like lenders, insurance, banking, and accounting. But on top of needing to process documents, fintech startups need to be able to build document processing pipelines quickly and not have this type of undifferentiated work be a blocker to bringing their product to market. Fintech startups also need to be able to scale their document processing infrastructure to meet new demand and not have to worry about capacity concerns. Startups also prefer to dedicate their machine learning talent to work that further differentiates their business rather than focusing on building technologies they can use out of the box. This is where Amazon Textract can help. But first, let's talk about how documents are processed without Amazon Textract. Manual processing is time consuming, error prone, and has significant overhead. It's overall non-reliable for production and causes a lot of redundancy in the work employees are doing. Traditional optical character recognition, or OCR, can be effective on simple documents, but even then, the results you get are what we call a bag of words and provide little to no structure. Like manual processing, this can also be error prone. Template-based extraction has a lot of limits around accuracy and it takes lengthy developmental cycles to create. They also lock down end users to limited data entry and scope. This is where Amazon Textract comes in. Amazon Textract is a fully managed machine learning service that allows you to extract printed text, handwriting, and other data from scanned documents. It allows you to accurately and quickly extract text from various documents while eliminating manual effort and lowering costs. Machine learning experience isn't required to use Textract. It also goes beyond traditional OCR by being able to identify, understand, and extract data in forms and tables. Textract extracts data from text, tables, and forms without your developers having to first create template-based input. You can even leverage Amazon A2i, which provides human oversight to ensure and continuously improve accuracy by combining the scale of Textract with the human accuracy of Amazon A2i. Let's talk more about A2i. This is for use cases where the most accuracy comes from a cross between leveraging AI and human oversight. With the Amazon A2i, you don't have to choose between the two. In the case of Textract, you can use Textract to extract data from loans to applications, tax documents, or invoices, and then have a human review the output. Let's take a look at this reference architecture showing how to create a document index and search pipeline. Images are uploaded into S3, leveraged here as a data lake for reliable and durable storage. A Lambda function is triggered upon upload or scheduled to initiate document analysis with an API call to Amazon Textract. Textract then extracts the text from the document and creates searchable output. Using Amazon Elasticsearch service, you can index the extracted text and confidence scores of each document. Here's another example of form capture. A customer takes a picture of their loan application. By integrating the Textract API into the end user application, you can populate the form fields with the data extracted using Textract from the loan application, rather than the customer manually entering in the data. The data extracted is then stored in a database. You can check out the sample on GitHub that uses both the Sync and Async APIs to show both workflows. The sample leverages AWS Cloud Development Kit that lets you roll out and explore this in your own AWS account. From here, we can take the data extracted using Textract and process it using machine learning models. In the next video, we'll explore how to process loan documents using Amazon SageMaker. Join my colleague Arnav Kara as he talks about how to build a loan processing model on Amazon SageMaker. Now let's hear from one of our fintech startup customers that's using Textract. Apodio is a fintech startup that uses deep learning and natural language processing to extract insights from financial texts. Today we have Chenny Cheng with us, who's a co-founder of Apodia. Chenny, thanks so much for joining us today, and we're really excited to have you on and learn more about Apodia. Can you start off by telling us a little bit more about Apodia and your role there? Thanks. Um, my name is Chenny. I'm a co-founder of um, a fintech AI startup called Apodia. Uh, we help financial institutions extract documents better 
um, of whatever format like uh, financial statement, bank statement, KYC documents will help them leverage the power of artificial intelligence and deep learning to extract um, documents even in like unstructured and non-standardized formats. Can you tell us about how Podia uses Textract? So um, our clients will face challenges of like they have to handle thousands or hundreds of thousands of uh, documents every day. Most of them are actually in scanned format. Um, and, and for those like scanned forms, they are usually in tables, in paragraphs, um, and of course, like, they, they, they don't usually follow the same format because after all, the, the traditional OCR industry has been focusing more on like the standardized forms, which you'll find exactly the same design and layout every time when you process one type, one particular type of document. But then when you, uh, when you imagine the needs of bank to process bank statements, um, they probably have to process like 20, 50, 100 banks, bank statements, which have totally different design. You cannot really rely on a single, um, like, like simple OCL, traditional OCL uh, with, uh, uh, with, with some coordinate extraction so that you can, you can do the job well. Um, here, uh, we have leveraged test track as our uh, pre, uh, as a foundation to extract um, not just the, the numbers, but then because test track has also embedded um, a form table extraction function, which help us extract the tables pretty well. Um, here, like people may be using like the, those open source libraries like uh, like Tesseract. But then often people will feel disappointed um, because like Tesseract doesn't handle um, uh, like, like, like forms without borderlines well. Uh, Tesseract doesn't handle merge cell, which AWS here has really spent some effort to tackle some like, like, like um, engineering challenges to, 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 to make us uh, be able to extract um, like, like tables without borderlines, uh, tables with merge cells very well. Um, and for this particular case, I, um, it helps us extract financial statement tables uh, really well. What would this look like if you weren't using Textract? How would you build this out? We'll probably need to build our own OCR, um, our own table extraction models. Like, even though we actually have uh, started to build on our own machine learning models, like, uh, like uh, models that can recognize title and paragraphs. But then I guess I, if I... I, uh, but then OCL still plays the most uh, foundational parts of, of the whole document extraction engine. Um, and um, the effort to build OCL um, is huge, it's gigantic. Um, and here, uh, Testra is helping me to, uh, to bootstrap and uh, to, to, um, to launch the project much quicker because I don't have to spend months or even years um, on OCL. Chenny, help us understand the possibilities after the data is extracted using Textract. What are you doing with that data? We will actually have applied uh, quite a number of our domain expertise, our understanding towards different kind of like documents, again, like bank statement or financial statements to further um, interpret the insights we've got. Uh, for example, on bank statement, um, banks here would actually need to extract, like usually banks read bank statements because it's, um, it's part of the KYC process. They have to understand, okay, uh, whether there is like any suspicious transaction uh, 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 within that month, whether, um, whether that guy really has a stable salary, then we have to build model around how, um, how we should interpret the bank statements. So, so we usually would apply our, our domain expertise and, and, and build models around how we can correctly interpret the raw results we extract from test track. Last question for you, Chenny. Tell us what you're able to achieve by building on AWS and leveraging AWS AI ML solutions. Security is a big concern to banks. Um, scale, um, like scaling ability is a big concern to startups and banks as well. Because after all, nowadays, I, um, it really does spend some computational power, especially GPU powers to run AI models. Um, we have calculated uh, if we have to build our solution on-premise, we actually have to buy over 100 um, GPU instances um, on-premise so that we can uh, handle the client's uh, uh, requirement on the, uh, on the speed. Um, and because of that, well, we, 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 we're thankful 
um, we, we, we can deploy our solution on AWS, which with all the auto scaling functionality with our latest like enhancement on like on K native K serving on like the overall Kubernetes uh, ecosystem, we have been able to deploy a system that could uh, uh, scale up and scale down very quickly so that we can really optimize our usage while with all the cybersecurity function uh, embedded in the AWS system, like banks can really trust um, is a safe uh, is a is a safe environment, just like uh, as safe as their own banking system. Thanks so much, Chenny, for coming on and talking to us about Apodia. It's great to have you on our very first episode of FinTech Stacks and hear more about how you're leveraging AWS and Textract. Thank you, Grisma. Thank you, everyone. Hope to see you all one day in AWS event. Bye bye. Thanks everyone for joining us for this FinTech snack. Click in the link in the description box to continue on to the next video and see how we use Amazon SageMaker to process loan documents.